All this together and what does it mean? Are the forces in the region gaining any ground against ISIL? Kurt Volker is the former U.S. ambassador to NATO. He's now executive director of the McCain Institute for International Leadership at Arizona State University. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Great to be here. What did you think of the money there? What's, what's well, happening? Well, first I heard that, that story there, and it's interesting. Obviously, they can get access to silver and gold through oil sales, as, as you suggested in the story. And it is symbolic of being a state. You know, and you go back to the college textbooks and say, what is a state? A state has definable borders. A state has a government that has sovereignty within those borders. A state has things that uh, link the nation together, such as a currency for the nation. I don't think it might be as hard as, as that indicated either to create a currency as long as they allow the existing currency to operate in parallel. What they would do is create a fixed exchange rate between what they meant and the old one and phase it in gradually. I don't think it would be that difficult. Are you surprised, though, that uh, the group has even come far enough to make its own no, currency? No, this, this is part of their strategy, so I'm not surprised that where al-Qaeda was successful as a network of terrorists that wanted to kill people, but they kept it a network. They never aspired to be in control of territory. They wanted to just have a network that, pr pr that promoted an ideology. In the case of ISIS, they've done something very different. They said, we are the caliphate. We own this territory. We are creating a state, and we want others to join this state. So for them, it's been very important to create all the symbols of statehood in order to make that claim credible. So mending a currency is right along with that. The fight against ISIL, it's, it's continuing to ramp up. We've seen Turkey jump in uh, in recent months, increasing the frequency of its airstrikes. The coalition also uh, launched a couple, of, a couple dozen strikes over the weekend. Um, and local Peshmerga forces are still battling. So who is winning here? What's well, happening? Well, let's take a long view and a short view. You know, we started this air campaign against ISIS over a year ago. And we had U.S. Uh, fighter aircraft in there. We've had Jordanians. We've had uh, others. And the fact is, ISIS has more territory and just as many fighters as it did when we started. From that perspective, it's bad. From the shorter term perspective, though, we are seeing some successes. We're now operating out of Turkey. So we have much shorter flights to attack ISIS targets inside Syria. And we have better spotting, so we can pick targets better. And we are doing Kurt more to support the Peshmerga. 